Hi, I'm Doug Swank. I'm an applications engineer with Trilithic. Trilithic has developed a suite of features that can really help you track down and troubleshoot issues with your return path. They include Traffic Plus, the uh, UpLD, Upstream Linear Distortion, and CM Sweep. All of these are standard on the 1G DSP, they're optional on the 720 DSP and the 360 DSP. With this video, we're going to look at the Traffic Plus feature. Essentially what Traffic Plus does is it allows you to see signals underneath your active upstream. Let's take a look at a basic screenshot of this feature. With the signal density off, you've got essentially three traces. Your red is your peak hold, say, your max hold. Green is the max constant, and blue is the average constant. Green is typically where your ingress is going to be. Traffic Plus is used primarily to track down ingress, although it can be used to track down issues with actives, say if you've got some harmonics coming in or some beats somewhere. With the signal density on, you can see essentially a representation of the energy in that signal. Now I can see with this display, I do have some other issues with my upstream. They're not perfectly flat. It looks like I have a little suck out there or something. But what we're looking for is this guy right here. This is an unwanted signal underneath one of my upstream carriers. You may have to adjust the uh, normalization and the uh, persistence settings to get a better picture of this, but it, it's a great tool for tracking down constant ingress, uh, bursty type ingress. Um, so let's say I see this, what do I do about it? Well, you should know what node this uh, energy is coming in on. If we take a look at a diagram of the plant, start at the node. If, say, this is ingress, I want to work from the node out. Um, if I'm using UPLD or CM sweep, I would want to work from, say, the modem in towards the node to find that impairment. But for, for Traffic Plus, you want to kind of work from the node out. So start here and just divide and conquer. Work my way down the plant until I don't see that signal coming in. That tells me it's coming in from, say, a tap on one of these residences. I should be able to track that right down to the specific house that's causing that problem. Uh, from there, you can uh, disconnect that house, maybe look at the energy coming from that house with the spectrum, uh, spectrum analyzer in the meter. And then if you have access, you can uh, track it all the way through the house. So it's a really good tool to find out exactly where that impairment's coming in. If, it's, uh, uh, if you believe the signal that you don't want is coming in from an active, if you see it on this side of the active, you don't see it on this side of the active, that tells you you've got an issue with that specific active. So it's, it's, once you understand how to use it, it's pretty simple to track these issues down. Okay, so we've traced the problem uh, down the plant to the specific tap. Now I'm at the ground block to make sure that it's not a bad drop. So I've connected to the ground block. I do see the issue. So the next step is to go into the house, check the distribution system, and try to find the impairment that's causing the ingress. Okay, so we've gone into the house, we've uh, checked the splitter, and we've determined what run the issue was on, and we've actually tracked it to the back of the set-top box. Everything looks fine, but if you look closely, the connector's real loose. So this was allowing some unwanted signal to get onto the coax. We simply repair this, go back to the ground block, make sure we don't see that interference. Now, obviously, I don't have to track it all the way back to the plant. Just make sure that where I saw it before, I don't see it now. In future videos, we'll go over how to use the uh, UPLD feature and how to use the CM sweep. These actually use the carriers generated by the modem in the meter to track down impairments.